the modules based on similarity and put them into one package. So the functions group together is called as a module and the modules group together is called as a package. Like grouping the modules, giving it a folder name, which is a package. Like you put all the modules in a folder and name the package accordingly. So for different groupings of modules, we can have different packages. This makes our application uh, development, the project or the program very easy to manage and conceptually clear. Like directories can contain subdirectories and sub subdirectories. And uh, finally, in the innermost directory, we'll be having the files. Likewise, you can also have packages and the, inside the package, you can have a sub package and inside that you can have another sub package and so on. And the innermost package will be having the modules. So now I'm going to demonstrate how to create modules and also how to create packages and how to import these packages and execute. So on my desktop, I'm going to create a folder. So I'm saying uh, I'm clicking on new folder. So I'm creating a new folder and naming it with my name. So I said Sudha. So this is my folder. Okay. So this is my folder or you can say directory. So inside this folder, so this folder is empty. Again, I'm creating one more folder inside it. Okay. So I'm creating one more folder and the name of the folder is I'm saying my pack. So inside this, I'm going to put my modules inside my pack. I'm going to put my modules. Okay. So let us get started. So what I did, I have created a folder, which is Sudha on the desktop. You can create it wherever you want. I'm creating it on the desktop for uh, you to understand it better. So then I, inside this Sudha, I have created one more folder, which is my pack. Okay. So as of now, let us keep this aside. Now I'm going to notepad. So go to nat notepad. So I have opened my notepad over here. So inside this notepad, I'm going to create my modules. Okay. So I'm going to create a module. So first mo inside the first module, I'll be having some functions. Uh, so which is like some function. Um, so which will be summing up two numbers. So I'm taking two numbers A and B and then, uh, I'm just returning. Okay, so written. So don't forget the indentation. So written A plus B. Okay, so this will be returning A and B. So I do have another function. Okay, uh, so I do have another function. So which is sub and uh, this sub also takes in two numbers A comma B and uh, this returns the difference okay between these two things so i'm saying a minus b and also i'm having another function which is some uh def mul okay so again it takes two numbers a comma b and then it returns the it returns the product of these two numbers so i said a into b okay so the group of functions. So I have the group of functions. I have more than one function or one function inside a program and which is called as a module. Okay. So now I need to save this module. So I'm saying save as. Okay. So where I need to save it is I'm going to save it in my pack. Okay. So I'm going to save it in my pack. So where is my pack on the desktop? So I have Sudha. And inside Sudha, I have my pack. So I'm going to create a package. And what is the name of the package? My pack is the name of the package. Inside this package, I'm creating my module, which is some uh, math module, right? So I'm going to say P1 module. Okay, I'll keep it simple. So I'm saying P1 module. And modules need to have an extension dot .py. So I'm saying P1 dot py py dot py extension says that it is a python file so p1 dot py where did i save it i have saved it in sudha in uh, inside sudha i have my pack inside my pack i am saving this module okay so i saved it 
so this is my first module so i'm going to create another module so i'm taking another uh, module over here so i'm saying uh, def then i'm saying fun so this one will take the name okay and uh, then uh, it will just uh, print the name okay so it will say uh, hi and then followed by name okay fine so this is the first uh, thing i have in this particular uh, module okay. so i will write one more function over here so i'll say uh, which is fun one and uh, which will take some string okay so s and it will return the length of the string okay so we are saying uh, written uh, the length of the string okay fine uh, so these are the two functions inside the module so i'll be saving this module so the two modules are fun and fun one okay so which is taking name and the other one is taking both are taking strings okay so we are grouping related to some mathematical operations i have put it in p1 and uh, this is uh, taking the name and printing the name and then uh, finding out the length of the string okay so we are naming it so i said save as and uh, i am putting this also in my pack okay so the name of the module is p2.py okay so well uh, friends you can see that this is sudha inside sudha i am having my pack and inside my pack you can see i have these two files created so what is there inside each and every module inside the module i am having group of functions and these group of modules are called as the package okay fine now i'll be writing one more program so i'll uh, this is my driver code okay so i'll be writing one more uh, program uh, so wherein i need to import this uh, package okay so i need to import this package so to import this package what i have to do is i have to say from so that is the syntax so the syntax is from uh, what is the name of the package the name of the package is my pack dot okay so what is the name of the module p1 okay so from my pack dot p1 import star what is this statement is i want to import this module because this module is in this package i have to give this extension okay so this is fully qualified name so i i have to say from my pack dot p1 so this is package and this is module my pack dot p1 import star star says that everything from the package need to be imported all the attributes the class name the classes the functions the variables everything from this particular module will be imported except for the private variables okay so private attributes so i am also similarly doing for uh, the other one so i am saying uh, from uh, my pack dot p2 so import star so when i do this the two modules are imported into this program now we can use both the uh, methods okay so first i am saying sum 5 comma 4 okay so i am passing this and then uh, so that sum is the method from p1 so fun is the method from p2 so i am also using fun uh, okay so i am passing the so i am passing a string okay so i just have other Fun, uh, other functions from the modules also you can use i am as of now i am just using these two okay so now where do i need to save this uh, uh, code okay so i need to save this code in sudha okay so i am going to sudha but i am not storing it in my pack because i am using my pack okay so i should not save it in my pack so in sudha folder i am saving it okay so i am naming it as uh, impact dot py okay so this is the code so i am saving it so you can see friends like this is sudha folder so inside sudha folder you can see impact and then my pack inside my pack you can see these two modules okay now let us execute uh, impact and see to execute i'm going to the command prompt so i opened the command prompt and i need to take my uh, command prompt to this path so let me go to this path okay so i have gone to the properties you can see that it is uh, c drive users hp desktop and all that so go to that okay so i'm changing directory and then uh, 
okay so again it's sudha okay fine uh, so now i have gone to sudha okay so now let me execute that impact and show it to you okay so how to execute i should be saying py space what is the name of the file so the name of the file is impact from in which we have imported that my pack okay so dot py so you can see that okay so i think i have given the name of the package wrong so that's why it's showing me an error so it is a capital letter p and inside this code maybe i have given a small letter p okay so you can see be careful with the names so this is capital p okay so now save it okay and uh, i'm closing this and now go to the command prompt and execute it once again so you can see friends very clearly that it is showing me 9 the sum of 5 plus uh, 4 which is taking from module p1 and then he's saying hi sudha okay so you can see that it is why it has given none is because i have put this statement in the print okay hi sudha is just printing uh, uh, there is a print statement there is no written from that particular fun function so that's why this print is uh, this none is from the print statement uh, i think all of you have understood how to create packages and uh, import the packages now you can get started with creating the packages hope this video is helpful to you thank you for watching